Tuesday, December 28th, 2020. And um, I got a word from the Father this morning talking against the Nephilim. So I'm going to read it. Let me just say a quick prayer. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, Yeshua. We thank you for being with us. We thank you for guiding us through your spirit. We rebuke the coronavirus in the name of Jesus, Yeshua. We rebuke evil in the name of Jesus, Yeshua. This is what I got. You are Nephilim. You are not mankind. Man was made in our image, in our likeness. You have disrupted the plan of redemption by forcing your way into my creation and thinking you have the right to create your own kind. You did an abominable thing in our sight, and now you think you can come back in once again to take over the world. You were taken from the earth as a living being, and now as spirits that roam about you think you have an opportunity to once again influence man so you can take over. I tell you like before, you will be destroyed. And if you taking over man think this way gives you a more direct takeover, you better think once again. Man can be evil, but man also has my conscience within as his creator. And most people, if they knew what you were doing, they would reject you. Their personality to be free outweighs your influence to control. My spirit will move and reinforce my power and my fire across the earth. And your power will be compromised by the goodness of man's heart and soul. Once they see what you are and what you are doing, they will reject you. I am speaking against you now as you manipulate those who are weak and fall prey to you. Their angry hearts against injustice, which makes them open up to your filthy agenda of abomination and domination and control over them. They will always have free will, and you can never take that from them. Time to see what you are dealing with. You seem to forget that I stopped you before, and I will stop you once again. Man is my creation, and you are adulterating him. I will not watch you do this again. I will blast you with all the weapons that you yourself are using. It will backfire in America as my people exist here and love me. They may not be perfected, but they have the fight to exist in a free land, and you will lose this battle. Prophesy to the wind the demise of this Nephilim takeover in America. It is the truth that sets us free. See truth and justice, the true America way, not the lies they are feeding to you. Love prevails always your father who art in heaven. He said to rebuke them, to prophesy to the wind. Let me just explain what they are first. They're the angels and humans. Go read it in Genesis. Men of renown that came on the earth, the giants that were destroyed by the flood in the days of Noah. Their spirits are floating about the earth. They have nowhere to go. They tried to take over then. They did take over then. They were controlling everything. The angels that were hurled out of heaven came down here and made the plan to have sexual relations with humans and create this other being that was an abomination in the sight of God. So they're here in spirit form now. And what they're doing is they're influencing human beings, those that are weak, those that don't understand, those that are angry, those that are frustrated, those who have evil thoughts, evil agendas. And what they do is they come around and they just start manipulating you by feeding you with what they want to tell you. And the more you open up to that, the more they become part of your world. And that's what we're watching in the government. That's what's trying to take over. That's why we listen to the things that they say and they make no sense because the agenda of the devil is to destroy. So he doesn't care if it makes sense. He's just looking to dominate and take over the world. 
So whatever way he can do that, he will do that. If it's through fear, they will do whatever necessary to take over, even cheat in an election to take over and become a one world system. You see, the enemy, Satan, wants the world to be one world government, a one world agenda so that he can control the entire thing. Only America is messing him up because a president was brought in who was normal, all right, as far as not wanting a one world government. He looked for America to be great again. He wanted the, 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 the companies to come back to America, to make things in America. And he ruined the one world system that they were trying to bring about. So what they had to do this time was they had to totally get a plan to totally cheat their way in to get rid of him. They tried to impeach him. They, they've tried to kill him. They've tried to do so many things to get rid of this man. But this man is ordained by God and he will not be snuffed out by anybody. When God's power and fire is on somebody and they have an anointing to do a work for God, nothing's going to take them out of the picture until it's the time. Just like I had cancer, the devil couldn't take me out because it wasn't my time. I still had to rise up and do what I'm called to do, which is I'm doing now. I'm here to help bring healing to America to make you see the truth. Love one another. What's my biggest thing? Love one another. Love is the most powerful force in the universe. We have to go back to that in order for there to be healing. We have to forgive one another not judge one another, and just move forward in the spirit of God and his kingdom. Jesus did not come into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him would be saved. That's the message of the Christians. That's what we're doing. We're bringing that to the world. So the Nephilim are now rising up using people. They've influenced people. They've become part of human beings right now. So much so they're controlling their mind, a lot of them. So therefore, normal people listening to what they say, you look at them and you think, that's just nuts. Yeah, it is nuts. That's why it says in the end times, they will be reprobate minds. Lovers of self rather than lovers of God. Looking for their own agenda, looking for their own PR, looking to puff themselves up. Look at me, look what I've done, look what I've accomplished. Gary and I just watched a thing, a sister in the Lord sent it to us, on Joe Biden talking, okay, to important people in the Ukraine. Conversations back and forth from the pits of hell. This man was involved. Absolutely, positively, there is evidence to show not only was his son involved, he was also involved. And we have the whole conversation, it's been on the news, where he tells them, you better back off or you're not going to get this money. That says it all right there, because they had to back off there because they were being investigated. This investigation is the one of the biggest things going on right now. And a lot of the news medias don't even want to cover it. He is corrupt, folks. Vice President Joe Biden is corrupt, along with his son and his brother, and probably many others involved. They have whistleblowers now that are being protected, their identities being protected, because their lives are in jeopardy. This is out there. Nothing is hidden that shall not be revealed, the Bible says, and this is all being revealed, because God's agenda is going to happen for America, not Satan's. The enemy got thrown out, and God's agenda is in. We have a praying White House, all right? We have a praying First Lady. We have a praying President, a praying Vice President. We have many of the Senators that are Christians. God will have his way in America. So right now, we're going to all do this. I'm a prophetess of God. I am called to speak things forth that the Lord tells us to do. And he said, prophesy. Prophesy to the wind. 
the demise of the Nephilim takeover in America. So we're going to do that right now. And all join one mind and one accord. It says, ask anything in my name, in Yeshua's name, and it shall be done. We are asking. Father, we are asking in Yeshua's name, and we are proclaiming this, prophesying this to the wind, which means it goes forth and accomplishes what it is meant to do. So we right now, in the name of Jesus Yeshua, come against these Nephilim demonic entities that are looking to take over the world and America. We stop them from what they're trying to do in America in the name of Jesus Yeshua. That's what you said to do, Father. That's what we are doing right now. We're all in one mind and one accord on this. You cannot take over the government of the United States of America. You tried to cheat. You've been revealed. And you will be kicked back. And President Trump will not concede. He will stay in office to where he has been justly voted in again, legally to keep America safe from the one world government that Satan, the Antichrist, is looking to take over. So in Yeshua's name, we rebuke all Nephilim demonic entities and human beings that have sided with them in Jesus Yeshua's name. And we thank you, Father, for once again protecting America and saving her. We know you love America. We have sinned and we have fallen short. And we, we ask forgiveness for aborting all these babies for all these years since 1973. Help us, Father, to overturn Roe versus Wade and forgive us for say, staying so silent all these years and not coming against the injustice of murdering the unborn. Your will be done, Father, on earth, in America, as it is in heaven. We thank you for it. Other countries are out there. Pray for your country. If you're in other countries, pray for your countries. We pray for all the countries, but I don't have control over all the countries. I have to do what the Father tells me to do, and he just came against it in America. Pray against it in your countries. The countries have to follow the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in order to be safe from this one world government because it is taking over. It is taking over and it's evil and it's not the plan of God, not for America anyway. But Satan will rise up. He is rising up and evil will be hit in America too. Cities, towns, places where his, Satan's agenda is operating, they will be hit with earthquakes, tsunamis, floods, Volcanic eruptions. There's going to be a lot going on in these end times. So we have to be ready for it, prepared for it. And um, pray. Keep praying. Don't fear. Fear not. Because it doesn't matter. We're on the winning team. So we stick with our God. And we thank him every day. Thank him every day for your life being saved through Jesus. Because if you never get another prayer answered for the rest of your life, Remember one thing, you're going to heaven for eternity to be with God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and all his angels because of what did Jesus did for you on that cross. That alone is worth your praising him for the rest of your life. And I'll be back when he sends me back again and have a blessed day.